Let's think about how or what 1 half times 5 represents. So one way to think about it is that this could be 5 1 halves added together. So you could view this as 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half, which is the same thing as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2, which is equal to 5 halves, which is equal to 5 halves. The other way to think about this is that you start with five things. You start with five things. You start with five things. So let's say that's one thing. Let me copy and paste that so they all look the same. So, and then let me paste it. So that's two things. That's three things. That's four things. And then that's five things. So the other way to think about it is you start with five things and you take half of them. So what would be half of this? Well, let's see. You have five things, so you would make, you would get five divided by two would be two and a half. Five, so you would get you would get this far. Let me make it like this. So you would get this one, you would get this one, and you would get this one. Now is this the same thing as five halves? Well, what happens if we divide each of these holes into halves? So let's do that. So if we just multiplied, so we just divide each of these into two. So we have, instead of having five holes, we now have 10 halves. We now have 10 halves. How many of those halves have we filled in? Well, we have filled in one, two, three, four, five. So this is also equal to, this is also equal to five halves. Now, if you're looking for how we could, right now, so far we just did it thinking about what multiplication actually means. But if you said, well, you know, how did I, how did I compute this? Well, the way you could think about it, and multiplying fractions is actually straightforward from, from that point of view, is as long as you can express both of them as fractions, and five we already know is the same thing as five ones. So this we can just multiply times five over one, five over one. So now that I've expressed both of them as fractions, I can just multiply the numerator. So one times five, one times five over, over two times one, over two times one. And what's that going to be equal to? Well, one times five is five. Two times one is two. Two times one is two. So once again, we get five halves.